All right, everybody, welcome back. This is exciting. This is round two with Cook Ranch Breaks paired up with the Pinkston Pickers. Now, guys, I keep using that name. Is that something that you'll adopt, or are you going to get more creative than that? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take it. I don't. I'm not creative. Okay. I don't know. I think maybe we'll. <laughs> We made. I'll let Ryan come with the name. He's he's. No, I don't want to piggyback off of our History Channel guys, the the pickers that That's go around. That, you know, we'll come up with our own creative name. I just thought it was thematic there. Anyway, <laughs> um, welcome back, guys. Thanks for for coming back and joining us tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to be here. Uh, tonight's video is uh, fresh off the success of the first video, which was nine and a half hours long, as Matt <laughs> opened a super jumbo pack uh, box of uh, Bowman Draft. And speaking of Bowman Draft, tonight Ryan uh, got something in the mail, and he has literally been drooling, ready to open this up. Tell us about it, Ryan. So what we have is an online exclusive from Tops called Bowman Draft Sapphire Edition. Um, it's going to come with 32 cards, one pack. Uh, there will be two colored parallels in the middle. And those can range from being numbered from 99 all the way down to a one of one. So uh, let's hope luck is on our side and we, we get us a nice uh, low number of cards tonight of a of a good player. So um, Bowman draft, you know, they, it's really like the cracked ice looking uh, cards is what they're going after here. And every single card uh, looks like that. The base is a blue um, outline. And then, like I said, the, the color ranges from yellow to green to orange to gold to um uh, Let's see, red. I think Baby purple. Jack trying to say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's you may have missed a color, color there. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, you, you may have to edit out some of these. Noises. No, I'm fine. I just wanted to make sure that people knew that he's also part of the team. Yeah, yeah. No, Jack is definitely. He is a Pinkston. <laughs> there you go. Here, he's over here chewing on his foot watching Coco Melon. So that sounds um, okay. <laughs> so we have so two back to baseball. So we will have 64 cards. Uh, and we'll, we'll move the two colored cards to the back to kind of give us some drama. And whenever you guys are ready, we'll we'll go on and rip into this thing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Matt, are you ready? Are you excited? I'm ready. I, I, I'm, I'm fingers crossed that we see uh, some red or some purple or the pink. If you see pink, that's really, really good. That's right. really, really good. Pinkstons want pink. Let's see what that's happens. The one, that's the one of one. Here we go. Drop that around the back here. And so, again, oh, look at that. We're starting uh -oh. off. That's what I'm talking Girl. about. Cubbies. Girl. So, we have the standard, it looks like. Yellow and green. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move that to the back, though. And we'll start off with Christian Robinson, Tyler Freeman, Quinn Priester. And again, these are those cards that you're wanting to look for the first Bowman on. So here you see, we so far we've got uh, four guys who are non-first Bowman. So we want to start <laughs> seeing that first in there. Yeah. Mark Vientos, Alika Williams. That's a pretty good hit right there. That's the... Rays, first rounder, I believe. Yep, first yeah. round, 37th overall. So he's one of those sandwich picks. Okay, so we'll set that one off to the side there. Making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Dane Acker, pitcher for the A's there. You got Carmen Mudlinski. I guess that's how you say that. My favorite name of Bowman Draft, Dylan Dingler. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> just, a funny, just a funny name. Oh, what'd you say, Matt? Yeah, alliteration. Yeah, I Mark love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we continue with the alliteration. Luke Little. That's right. Maybe. Maybe oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. You know what normally comes after Luke Little? 
No. I know. I know. I the know. number one overall pick, Spencer oh, Torkelson. Oh, there know. we go. Torkelson. Yeah. We're going to set that cub off the side, and this is one where we got to set down the stack, and yeah. we got to sleeve this up. You better uh, believe yeah. it. We're going to sleeve it. You better know that right there. <laughs> <laughs> and fans of the channel probably said that along with us online. So, yeah, Ryan, I learned very early that if you see Luke Little in a Bowman draft pack, odds are you're going to see Torkelson right after him. So it looks so, like the collection is the same in the in this Bowman draft Sapphire. Sapphire. That's kind of good to know, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Cool. So there you go, number one overall pick, Spencer Torkelson. A very nice hit after that kind of a dud start there. That uh, that card pretty much takes care of that box, I would say. Yep. So, so everything else is pretty much gravy at, at this point. Awesome. <laughs> so let's continue with the gravy then. Yes. Oh, All right. Again, sandwiches and gravy. <laughs> oh. I'm We're having breakfast. Let's, <laughs> Kate Cavalli, that's a first-round pitcher for the Nationals. So it's a pretty good hit right there. There's another cubby. Yeah. You know what? After hitting that Torkelson, I, I don't know. We may have another mail day going to the Ugh. cooks. Somebody I'm ready. Cooks. I'm ready. <laughs> and the, the see, the perfect part for you all is that your, you know, the base color is blue. Is your blue, and so it, it works so well with the with the Cubs players there. Best Jack is even excited. Jack's about excited. It. Jack is totally excited. <laughs> So, all right, here we go. Chris McMahon. And another first-round pick there, A.J. Vukovic. Bless you. Yes. <laughs> oh. We got Burl Caraway. Caraway. Burl. 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 Burl it can hurl it. <laughs> Logan mm -hmm. Hoffman. You can, Matt. Mm -hmm. Slate Sassoni. Jaron Duran, that was a good name. See, you know, we talked about other products. Um, Jaron Duran was a nice little chase card in in the previous product. He was in Bowman and had an auto on that. So that was a guy that everybody liked a lot. Here's another first round pick. That's a good one. And a very good hit, Garrett Mitchell. So we'll set it down for him here. Say it, Trey. You better believe it. We're going to sleeve it. Absolutely. <laughs> Another nice base hit there. So now we're now we're really hoping uh, that our color treats us right here. We've we've done well on the base so far, even just yeah. with those two guys. It's been so, a good box. So Corbin Carroll, Daxton Fulton. I love these cards. I mean, I just love the design and the look of them. I mean, they're yeah. very sharp cards. They're extremely yeah. popular. The the cracked ice when they when they hit so Bowman nineteen draft was the first set mm -hmm. of sapphire that they did for these cards and it was such a hit that there was no doubt in my mind or anybody else's that they were gonna uh, you know produce some more sets of these and they're you're right they're just beautiful cards the cracked ice is is the or atomic is what people like to call it too is just some of the coolest looking cards you can find and, and uh, to have it as a first Bowman of some of these guys is pretty cool. So, all right, here we go. Tanner Burns, he's a first round pick. I think he was another one of those sandwich picks. Hans Kraus. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Howard. Howard. Right, right. Show, show them your card real quick. Show everybody at home <laughs> what we're looking at. My twins. goodness. Check wow. that out. Purple now number. I will, Bowman I will have to say this one is a little more expensive than that would yeah. be. But that is a beautiful card. And, again, you got the team color on there, and it just pops, man. It's it's so nice. How much do you think that one's going for right now? I, I believe I saw him from, if I'm not mistaken, Matt, 80 bucks. Is that around his price? Or was yeah, I was going to say 65 70 depends yeah. on – the day and who's really wanting it. Right. That is definitely a sleever though. We're not we're not gonna everybody at home say it with us. <laughs> you better believe it. We're, we're gonna, gonna sleeve, sleeve it. it. Matt, you didn't say it. You you just <laughs> mouthed it. it. I was I was yeah, y'all were giving me the voice. Like that card a lot. Beautiful. This has been an exceptional really good box. Yeah, so yeah. I mean if your next box 
I mean, it's kind of a dud. You've still done great. Very well. Yes, very well. The guy I bought this from is not going to be happy. <laughs> he told me, he said, I want to see what you hit. Oh, gosh. He said, I but <laughs> I'm definitely showing him. Showing him. All right, here we go. So, oh, <laughs> man, give me the oh, call. Check, check that out. Check it I'm out. First round hitter. I got the right collation. No doubt. You wow, did, man. Sheesh. This is a heater. And, and guess what, guys? Believe it. We're going to sleeve it. We're going to sleeve that. We're going to sleeve it. I bet. And we're going to top load it. Matt, were you being kind of a smart elk right there? No. no like you, like you, I feel like you're kind I'm of fighting in. that saying a little bit. We've, we've traded I'm, I'm in. I'm in. You all in? Are you hashtag all in? <laughs> yeah, I can't do the. Yeah, I'll hashtag. I can't do it because I'm holding. I'm holding my camera. Ryan, I mean, are your hands shaking at this point? Like, are you just? Are you literally shaking? I'm. I'm not literally shaking, but I am very, very happy with this box. Yeah, this uh, is a really good box. So we are two away from our colors. So we'll kind of slow play uh, our first, and we'll go from the back actually because. Uh, green is numbered to 50, so it's going to be the lower number card. And the yellow in the back will be uh, 299. So we got Heliot Ramos. And then last but not least, Kyle Nicholas. And here we go. Let's All see. Right. see it. Ooh, slow-mo. Uh, no first moment, so that's a little disappointing. But that is not a bad name there, Nico Holsizer. It's not bad. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's still a good player, and a guy. You know, I, honestly, my thoughts on any uh, any player in the race system, you really can't go wrong. They they develop players so well, and so Nico Holsizer, and I'm going to set that off to the side just so we can get straight to the color here. So let's let's slow play this and see. Do we have a first? Okay, so we had a I had a great uh, base box there, but a little hard on the color. But I can be perfectly fine with that with the, what we did. Uh, that is Cody Hosey, but that is a good player. So not bad players that we got first rounder from the Dodgers. Yeah, both bats, not pitchers. Yep, exactly. And that's, again, that's important if we're talking resale value. And that's not always uh, everybody's goal and sure. shouldn't be. But, all right. Okay, let's, uh, Matt. Let's re- yes. I'm going to ask Matt, and then I'm going to ask Ryan. Yeah. Out of 10, 10 being unbelievable and one being absolutely terrible, where did this first box land, in your opinion? I mean, I'd give it a solid eight for sure. I mean, you got Torkelson, you got two uh, other bats in Mitchell and Hassel and Howard. Uh, so you got three first round guys that are really chased after. Um, you know, the color was a little disappointing, but I mean, when you get four guys like you got in Howard and Torkelson and Hassel and Mitchell. That's a pretty good box. Ryan, you paid for it. What do you think? Uh, I, I'm going to have to agree with Matt. I think that uh, I'll go a little bit higher, eight and a half. And I think just because the color uh, was two hitters, I think that bumps it a little bit, even though it wasn't first moment. And then, I mean, like he said, you just can't argue with uh, the base there so uh that's about as good as it gets and we'll recap it to show you what we're talking about if you missed it cody hosey was our green to 50 first rounder from the dodgers in 2019 so that's not a first bowman nico holsizer same there out of 99 good player just not a first bowman which is what we're looking for in bowman draft and then here are our base and you got Garrett Mitchell first round 20th overall a guy that's highly uh, sought after collecting Robert Hassel 
I believe a top ten pick, number yeah. eight overall. Uh, yeah. Your boy, Ed Howard. Seventeen. Seventeen overall. And then of course the big boy. Spencer Torkelson. Yeah. I mean number everything one overall. Yes and her stad, really. I mean what, yeah. what more could you have wanted? A little disappointed that I didn't see any Cardinals at all in that box. So yeah. maybe we maybe we run into yeah. one of those guys in this next box. It'd be nice to get a little PC card. Now how many? Uh, do they, how many are in the on the list for the Cardinals in this? Uh, you have Jordan Walker, Mason Wynn, Alec Burleson. Uh, Dylan is Dylan Cease on there? Or is it? Is he too young for? Who is it? Is it Dylan Cease? He's a white uh, sock. He's a white oh, sock. Sorry, he's he, a white sock. Who am I thinking about, Matt? Who did you say on the video last time that you're that you're uh, Carlson's a guy I'm chasing. He's not Carlson. in the project. Nolan Gorman and Liberator are the two non uh draft pick players from the Cardinals. I think they had eight total in the in the season. Well, yeah, that's they, awesome. I know they have a couple non first Bowman guys in there, uh, like Gorman and Liberator. Um and they do that to kind of expand the set. You know, you got to have some some lulls in there. You can't just have all first Bowman. So, sure. you know, they mix in these other guys. And well, I'm thrilled for you, man. Those those are some awesome cards. Yeah. And we still got another box to go. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Part. That box was awesome. I can't wait to see what we have uh, next in this next box. I'm I'm ready to rip it. You ready to rip it, Trey? I'm so ready. We had a cut. We had a Cubs box there. I mean, we we hit like four guys. So uh, yeah, way too much Cubs stuff. Way too much. Oof. Oof. Let's see some Cardinal red and maybe some My better stomach. color in this box. So here we That's go. Got something. That, yeah, maybe one of those sandwiches we've been talking about. Maybe uh, yeah, our gravy. Some gravy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I'm just excited. I didn't pay a dollar for it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trey, maybe we can keep planning videos like this where they buy expensive stuff and we just watch as if we bought it. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. good. I like that. Excellent. All right. Let's see. So we got – oh, no, we got a teal. So if you Ooh. can tell, that's a little different. Yeah. A teal is going to be to 20. Yep. So we do have a very low number. That's good. Card there. And oh, it does look God. like we're going to have a different run of players here. So – we should see some all new players through this, unless we, you know, maybe run into the same coalition a little yeah, later down the line. But, tell, but all right, we ready to go, guys? Do it. All right, let's do, let's do it. it. So Oswald Peraza, that's a guy that was in Bowman Chrome, and there we go. It's a good start. Yeah, Pro Armstrong. Okay, yeah, that's good. That is. The first rounder from the Mets, 19th overall. So those first round hitters keep popping up. That's a good thing. We are going to do what, Trey? What are we going to do this one? You better believe it. Matt? We're going to sleeve it. That's right, yes. we are. <laughs> That's right, we are. I've dreamed of this moment just to hear Matt say that. I bet you have. <laughs> that was Big Jack's he, first he word. He's higher than us. I mean, Jack's first words. Now we go sleep it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's. <laughs> Bryson Stott. My kid is over here with a scrunched face right now going. <laughs> well, I think he's fixing to fill a sleeve, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. He's done that twice already today, so I hope not. <laughs> He's more than regular, if that's the case. All right. Talking about Jackson gravy. Miller. We're back underway. Jackson Rutledge. Gilberto Jimenez. That's another guy that was in Bowman Chrome. That's where his first Bowman was. So a good hitter, but not. Marco Luciano, a guy who a lot of people like from the Giants, and he's had his first Bowman a while ago. Tristan Lutz, Carter Baumler. I saw the Orioles logo there, and I got excited. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the guy we're looking for. Maybe, maybe a little later on here. Thomas Segisi. Ben Hernandez. Zach McCambly. Aaron Ashby. So the base run a little, little tougher so far. We have had one nice hit there. Armstrong. Armstrong. Liam Norris. Jack Blomgren. Evan Carter. I think Evan Carter may have been a decent pick there. Yeah, he was round two, so not bad there. I'm so shocked there has been zero Cardinals. Yeah, zero at all. And I'll be honest, I don't really know the coalition of this, so I have no clue yeah, if, if he's coming or not. So let's hope somewhere in here we have one. Yeah. A couple of Blue Jays there, back-to-back, C.J. Van Eyck and Zach Britton. Spencer Strider. Jared Schuster. You know, I'll take the color. I'll take that teal to be one of the first bone. Yeah, that'd be nice. right with that. Shane McClanahan. There's another first rounder there, Patrick Bailey. One. Okay, who is that? Again, I can see. This is, this is Patrick Bailey. Okay, Giants. First rounder from the Giants. He is 13th overall. Yeah, catcher. Catching prospect. Watch out, Buster will... Posey. You better believe it. <laughs> right. Believe it. Believe it. Not, not hey. quite as excited the, on these last few. That's okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> this box is like, oh, we've got one to sleeve. How do we say that again? Yeah. We do. Kyle Nicholas. J.J. Goss. Ian Seymour. Jeremiah Jackson. Are we, there we go. There's there one. Go. Burleson. There's the Cardinals' second round pick, Alec Burleson. It's a guy that I actually have a red wave auto of to five. I hit that in a break, and it was uh, I was pretty excited about that. One. I don't have any red autos. That's a if if Alec Burleson were to become a guy who makes an all star game or something at one point, then that card would jump like crazy. So. Yeah. Uh, that those are always tough. So, like you know, Matt is in that predicament of where he hit a nice red sapphire, and he's having to decide, you know, what he wants to do with that. Do you take a chance on the guy being good, or do you capitalize on hitting such a nice card of a guy that people want? Yeah. Zach Daniels, and last but not least, another Cubby. Hey, I'm in it. I'm in it to win Ryan it. Davis. All right, hey, so Mika. we're down to our color and our final two cards. We'll go from the back first because, again, looks like we got a red here. Mike Ciani. Okay. So, again, we've missed on a first Bowman there. I actually know a guy who's who's collecting him, and so I think that's going to make for a nice gift uh, to him. Mike Ciani from the Reds there. Insert and paint out Chris. Come on, first Bowman. We do uh -oh. have a first Bowman. Uh oh. That, that's good. Okay. Let's see what it is. Do we I, check and see? I'll tell you what. Let's just take a break and we'll go to a commercial real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Unfortunately, I do not think that. Oh, okay. So I did get their, at least their hitter there. I was a little worried because I was trying to think if there was anybody really that uh, people were chasing, but Jesse Franklin the fifth. And again, you can, I don't know if you can see that there, but nine of 20 there. That's pretty cool. So that's a, uh, that's a nice hit there. And he was their third round pick. 97th overall. Yeah, Jesse Franklin, the fourth, though, tends to get a lot of the attention, and I think it's time for the fifth to shine. I really yeah, do. It's, it's the fifth turn. So, box two. Yeah, so rate it. Rate it, Matt. What do you think, box two? If box one was an eight. Uh, mm, I'll go right smack dab in the middle of the five. Ooh. Oh. Okay, pretty low. I think Ryan's going to have a different answer this time around. I'm not sure. Ryan I think he will too, but. Ryan's so mad he doesn't want to answer. 
<laughs> that's not what it is. That's not what it is. So, I think the main thing that I'm kind of bummed about, I didn't get to see any of my high Cardinals picks. I, I did get the Burleson second rounder. That's a that's a nice base. Was hoping that I wouldn't have to go out and buy, but um, a guy that I wanted here. But these guys are still not bad uh, yeah. cards to have here. Uh, you got Patrick Bailey and Pete Crow Armstrong, so a couple first rounders. You can't first round hitters and then you know the franklin being a first and it being a hitter um and numbered so low to 20 is is not bad but i would i'm gonna have to agree with matt i'm thinking right smack dab in the middle it's not the worst thing in the world but definitely uh definitely lower on the scale than that last box that last box really overperformed kind of where my expectations were um this can be very hit or miss, you know, it, it really, it really takes a run of hitting good players. And, and we did that in the first box. And I would say, obviously the second box, uh, I made back some of that value. Um, but thankfully that first box outperformed so much that I think, you know, all in all, I'm going to come out, uh, even or above on these boxes. Yeah. And you really can't say that often. Um, <laughs> with with anything that you buy i mean it's a, it's tough to do that so sure um i think overall the experience i love the cards i mean the like it's like we said the the sapphire is one of the coolest sets that you can uh that you can get and that you can buy um people love this stuff so there's there's our only cardinal the box two boxes that's just crazy. Uh, I mean, if I bought a break for that, and I got, and then the Cardinals was my team. That's just how it goes sometimes, though. Rough. Yeah. Be rough. Yes. It, I mean, and that's what people have to understand. And I think that, you know, there's been some good conversation I've seen on Twitter here recently about, you know, um, again, what I told you all in the last video. It's all about do what you do what you love to do. Don't don't fall into the trap of believing that you have to go break. Um, or follow anyone else and what they're doing. You do what makes you happy as a collector um, and do it responsibly. You know, don't, don't go outside of your means and, and spend what you, you know, what you can't afford, um, but get things that you enjoy, make relationships, uh, you know, de develop relationships with people. Yeah. And you're going to get a lot of cool stuff just based off those relationships. I mean, I, yeah. Matt knows I've made some killer trades that, you know, to yeah. get cards that I love. Uh, I've met people who have been so nice to me in the hobby and they have, you know, gotten me some cards that are my favorites in my collection. Um, and one of them being a Sapphire card, um, one that I honestly never, ever thought I would ever even get a chance to buy. And uh, by all miracles, a guy that I'd formed a great relationship with and made a couple trades with ends up pulling the one of one Nolan Gorman and is willing to sell it to me for, I think, a killer price. And so now that's, you know, that's one of my favorite cards in my collection. So if I have any advice for the, you know, again, beginners and people getting back into this, it's do what you like and form relationships with people. And that's going to that's going to make this hobby more enjoyable than anything. Yeah, I heard a guy say one time uh, in a different venue, but it's still in the venue of collecting, just not cards, that uh, only um, be comfortable buying into something if you're okay losing that money. Like, yeah, right. don't put, like you talked about being responsible. So if you're going to do a break for $10 every once in a while, that's pretty cool. Try that and just see what happens. But don't do one for $100 every week and you don't have that money available and it's taken away from your, your family or it's distracting you from your job. And these, this can get very addictive. So it's yeah. really important. I think in those relationships that you talked about to, to really kind of hold everybody accountable. So Matt, if you saw Ryan trying to buy the immaculate basketball, like four K four boxes of that, you'd be like, Hey, we we need to talk. That, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I well, don't think that he's had. To, it's been the reverse. He's had to kind of talk me down a few times, and we, you know, like I said, I've, I've learned a lot, and I've gotten much more disciplined about how I collect, what I collect, how I do it as far as breaks and all that stuff. And so, you know, last couple of months, I've really 
kind of pulled back on the whole buying the brakes things to, to focus on either cards I like. And, you know, last month and a half or so, it's, it's worked out really well for me. And so um, I'm going to continue that, not just chase after things because everybody else is chasing it, but chase after what I like and don't worry about all the other stuff. Yeah. Well, guys, I love this uh, event that we do, these videos that we're making, and I hope that we can do do some every once in a while down the road. And, uh, Ryan, thanks for, like, sharing the Absolutely, opening part with us. Yeah, thank you so much. This is uh, this has been fun. I'm, I'm glad you guys, again, I'm, I'm thankful for you all to, uh, to ask us to get on here and do this with you all. Uh, Matt and I, you know, this is where it started for me. It was with my uncle and it's something that I cherish and, and appreciate um, because it brings back those memories of getting to play baseball and just be a part of the game that I love. And so to, to even experience it just through uh, baseball cards again um, as an adult, like I did as a kid, um, still with my uncle is, is a really cool experience. And to see you guys doing it as father and son and, and uh is is really awesome and, and hopefully we can get you some traction here on the channel uh get some eyes on it and maybe uh maybe just maybe we can uh, get you guys like I said some boxes in hand and we'll join you again and let you guys rip instead of being the pinksons ripping everything <laughs> well, speaking of our channel trey talk to him a little bit about cook ranch breaks the youtube channel uh okay so our channel, we have a eBay store, which you can, it will be in the description down below, and you can go and check out the cards we have, look at them, maybe even purchase one or two, um, and we also have a Amazon wish list, which you can go and purchase one to support it, and we will we'll make um, a video on that box that we get sent. Okay, so what do we want them to do on the YouTube channel itself? Uh, we want you to subscribe and leave a like. Turn on post notifications so whenever we upload a new video, it will notify you. And we also want you to comment if you're still here. Yeah, so if they've made it this far to the, at the very end of the video, what's a good word for them to put on there if they've <laughs> made it this far? Um, let's let Matt decide. Okay, Matt. Oh gosh, Matt! I think you said uh, it earlier. We've said it a couple times. Uh, I don't know. Sleeve it. Sleeve it. <laughs> I was thinking gravy. <laughs> gravy. Oh. <laughs> gravy. Sleeve <laughs> it. Or sandwich. I don't know, but but yeah, gravy sounds it. good. I like gravy. You do gravy? Okay, yeah, gravy. gravy's the word. Uh, so if if they if they put sleeve it, well, no, they just stopped it. So <laughs> you'll be entered in to win a uh, drawing to win a one touch uh, wrapper from the inside. So, <laughs> so it, is, wow. it is the authentic ultra pro one touch what up, to, up to a 35 point card. And again, it's not the one touch. It's the wrapper inside Trey and I will autograph it. <laughs> and then we will ship it to you. All you have to do is pay shipping and we will do that for you for free. So <laughs> this has been an awesome video, Matt, Ryan. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for Appreciate having us.